missile for us to uh, This is going to be good. We're at so. ClueCon uh, 2009 in Chicago, and I'm talking with Bogdan Yanko. And um, I stopped him from working on his mailing list, so I do apologize. But, you know, a lot of people didn't get to come to ClueCon. They didn't get to meet you. So I was just wondering, you know, why you choose to come, choose to come here. We appreciated your presentation. So maybe start off with that. Well, um, the reason for being here actually is I was just to give it a try last year here at Klukon and uh, I found out that more or less is exactly what the name said and it's for developers and usually, I mean so far I was used as a kind of conferences or events like one where it's more business mm. and um, well, it's good, business is also good but from time to time you need to see exactly technically speaking what's going on and uh, to meet uh, to meet uh, the technical guys and uh, you know, see the news and get in touch with them, do this kind of a brainstorming because that's the way things are going. By just by yourself, you are not doing more or less nothing. Exactly. So uh, it's it's a good opportunity to to get in touch with the people mm -hmm. and uh, you know to come up with new ideas mm -hmm. because as I said, exactly what I presented today, this load balancing, it's uh, started as an idea. In Glucon, in Glucon last year. Wow. So then it was we cooked the idea, and now we had uh, more or less the final, uh, the final software doing that. So um, I know that the Glucon group is uh, videoed your presentation, but is there? Could you summarize what your presentation yeah. was about? Um, well, shortly it's about uh, how to do load balancing for. Um, media servers, so how to be able to manage clusters of whatever media-oriented application, PDXs, uh, call centers, uh, um, gateways, and so on, and how to do that with front-ending with OpenSIPs, mm -hmm. how exactly to, uh, to manage uh, different kind of peers with different properties, mm -hmm. and to do real-time balance based on the actual load okay. of, of the system, so roughly that was the, yeah. the topic. So now, with the first thing we, um, when I first stopped you a moment ago, you were talking about being on your mailing list. How could people learn more from you and open SIPs? Um, you know, where should they go on the internet or maybe IRC or whatever that you can share? Well, um, we have, let's say, like four or five channels of uh, spreading the knowledge. Yeah. So, except the default mailing list where you can just go and ask questions, we have forums, so there is an IRC channel where everybody's getting and discussing. Mm -hmm. And uh, lately we started a webinar program, so it's um, like roughly one per month. <coughs> we have a webinar uh, starting from the basics. So the first one was kind of an introduction to OpenSeed, what is good for. Yeah. And now we are getting more and more into, uh, into the details. It's one hour webinar, but it, it really helps uh, it really helps people to understand better. I mean, I think it's, it's a fantastic idea. Are you incorporating, like, obviously audio? It, are people logging in somewhere and viewing uh, something, or are they watching someone speak? How is the webinar being conducted? Yes, we uh, there's a platform. I think it's something go to meeting okay. uh, name. So uh, everything is real time. There is somebody talking about and making a presentation in the same time with the audio. And the other people are just logged in, and they are able to hear and see the presentation. And at the end, we have the questions uh, about the topic, uh, and all the time we do the recording, and we we have it uh, okay. post on the uh, on the website. So if somebody wants to watch it later, or okay. and what's the website address? It's openseeds.org. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Bogdan. Welcome. It's nice.